You know, Rob, I never appreciated dance until I saw the movie Grease. Now, I understand that that film had somewhat of an impact on you also. Well, you did your homework. Yeah, that, that scene, that movie, I, don't, I can't say that it was uh, the reason, but that, that kind of burst the bubble, so to speak, and made me, and I walked out of that movie with a friend of mine at the time and said to him on the steps afterward, I said, you know, I'm going to be an actor as if I had thought about it for years, which was not, I hadn't ever thought of it. Um, I mean, the, the psych, the psych, psychologically, the writing was on the wall if I, if I look back on it before that, but I hadn't, I wasn't cognizant until that moment and said to him as if I had always planned to be an actor. And from then on, I had this, uh, this raison d'etre. I've always been fascinated about actors' early jobs before they become actors. Now, when you came to New York, didn't you work in a movie house for a while? Yeah. What kind of tasks do they have you doing? Oh, I did everything. I collected tickets. I, I served popcorn. I swept the theater. You know. yeah. Like doing that type of job in New York, was that a little bit unique, doing it here? Oh, I don't think so, except maybe, you know, the, the, the clientele would be uh, you know, interesting, you know, not dull. When that pops up on The Late Show, uh, do you look back at that as a, as a fond experience or...? No, it was a miserable experience. The only thing that was great was, was Johnny Depp and I, and I, I really had a, I liked him a lot and had a good time with him and, and, and became friends as a result. But uh, the, the, the experience itself made me so, it made me run. I came back to New York and I got so Id idealistic to, to a quixotic degree because I wasn't... Uh, in the position to turn down work at that point, but I wouldn't even read scripts, let alone audition for them, because I had, I, it was not, it had nothing to do with what I want to do with my life, and uh, it was not fun. Uh, and I think a lot of people think that Northern Exposure was your first TV series, right. but you had a, a brief NBC s series prior to that. Yes. When that show was canceled, was that a particularly devastating experience for you at the time, or were you expecting more of the show? You know, one builds a, a, thick, a thick skin rather quickly in this business, and so I, I tend not to have m many expectations of things I enter into uh, in terms of the success, failure. You know, I have, I have goals that I'm trying to achieve artistically, but I don't, uh, I don't set myself up too much. I try not to, so no, I didn't, you know, it was like Northern Exposure. I was there for eight jobs and ready to, eight shows and ready to move on, and then, you know, here we are five years later. Turning to quiz show, um, I know there's a real sense of history around 30 Rockefeller Plaza, but that's not the first time that you worked in that building, isn't that correct? Yeah, you're right. I was, uh, um, um, I was an, well, I had been, I, I hosted Saturday Night Live, but then before that I was a, an extra on Saturday Night Live, which was the first job I ever had. I guess it was 1980 when I moved to New York. Um, Brian Doyle Murray was a really great guy and got me an extra gig on it. Well, shooting in New York, do you find that the people react somewhat differently than the people in Washington watching Northern Exposure? Mm -mm. No. I think, uh, you know, people who are fans of movies are, are the same everywhere. They just, you know, they like to see what's going on. And you know, I, I love the opening sequence of this film. That's not true, actually. They're a little more vociferous in New York. <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll, in Washington, they won't, you know, people will be quiet, but in New York, you'll be in the middle of a take and someone will be, yo, Ray! Oh, hey, man! <laughs> you know, that doesn't happen, though. Sorry. <laughs> well, were you a little bit apprehensive on the first day of outdoor shooting in New York where you were not quite sure what to expect? No, I'd been on the streets in New York shooting before. Okay. Uh, I love the opening sequence of this film with the car. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. And I have a friend who is an antique car collector, and he's rented his cars out to movie companies at times. He's really paranoid when that happens. He's worried that something will get scratched. Was the owner of that Plymouth, was he around, and how did the uh, people react about the car? Well, they were very cool. You know, I, there was not much um, done to the car. I think one should be wary of loaning anything to movie companies. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, it's very, um, and, 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 and everyone's always very careful, but you have all this crap lugging around. The odds of something not, you know, taking a little ding here or something are, are, are pretty, you know, against you. But... Uh, no, in that case, the car was just sitting in the showroom. They didn't do any rigs or put anything on it, and, uh, and uh, you know, everyone was very conscientious. And it was a beautiful car, huh? 
When you went to meet your, your real life counterpart, what did you walk away with that really surprised you about uh, Goodwin? Well, I, hadn't, I didn't have any expectations, so it wasn't that I was surprised, but what I got from spending time with him and reading his books was the, the initial kind of uh, point of entry for, the, for building the character, um, how much of a true patriot in he is. And I don't mean in a jingoistic sense, I mean in that he, he has an idealism that, uh, about this country and its potential that I'm not really as familiar with. I'm, I, I come from a generation that is inherently skeptical because of the times that I grew up in. And he, he truly is, a, is, is idealistic and, and at the, you know, he's in his 60s now and still has that. You know, he wrote a book recently called uh, uh, Promises to Keep, you know, about the, the potential of, of this country. And uh, that was where I found the, the entry into his, the way I, I created the character.